In this video, we're going to talk about three things that will straight up murder an HVAC compressor. Now, compressors die every single day, and a lot of times they say that compressors, they just don't die on their own, they're murdered. And why are they murdered? Well, incompetence, conditions that people create, lack of maintenance, there's a lot of things that can cause a compressor to die, and we're going to go into those things in this video. Now the first thing is going to be the incompetence of installation crews. Now when you set up a new machine, let's say you have a split residential system, you got your sweet new Goodman out there, it's two and a half tons, you got your ARUF blah blah inside air handler, you got your outdoor unit, your heat pump, and you're ready to cut it loose, but you have to pull a vacuum. Vacuums take too long sometimes. People don't have the proper equipment, they don't have the right size hoses, they don't have micron gauges, whatever you want to fill in the blank with. Let it go for 15 minutes and cut it off, something like that. If you don't pull a proper vacuum, what happens is there's moisture that's left in the system and that moisture can combine with some refrigerant oils and turn it into an acid and an acid will eat your compressor alive. Just imagine just a slow death that starts on day one and runs until the death of that compressor, no matter how long it takes, whether it's a year or five years, depending on how bad the acid problem is. And this problem is duplicated by service techs, which can do the same thing every time they do a repair. So let's say that you do a perfect job on install, but then two years later you have to replace the accumulator in your heat pump. So you replace your accumulator and you don't pull a proper vacuum there either. Everyone has to do the job properly every single time, or you run the risk of moisture getting in the system, causing an acid buildup and causing the death of your compressor. If you're curious whether or not your system has acid you're working on, there's a lot of acid test kits out there that you can do a real quick check and you know. And I did run into acid a lot during my service career. In fact, they had the little test kits that you would hold up against a suction line and you just go ksh, ksh, real quick. As it sprayed across the test strip, oil would come out across the test strip too and it would turn red if it had acid. Sometimes it was slightly red, and there was a couple I did that it was beet red. I mean, it was, it was chock full of acid. And I had one system in particular that was a train system. It wasn't extremely old. It was probably 10 or 11 years old. But it had the highest concentration, according to this test strip, that I've ever seen. It died. It was eaten up completely. I had to clean out those lines with flush before I installed the new system because a new system was required because the compressor was completely toast. I mean, it would not do anything. It felt like there was nothing left inside there except for acid swirling around. If you have a homeowner that doesn't set up proper maintenance with the company that installed the unit or they don't change their filters, all that stuff contributes to compressor failure. Because if you have a heat pump, then if you don't change your filters, you're going to run at a much higher pressure than you normally would which can cause stress on a compressor running at a higher compression ratio, meaning the comparison between the high pressure and the low pressure of the system. The higher the compression ratio, typically the higher the amount of heat that's on that compressor is going to stress that compressor out. If it runs for an extended time with an elevated heat rate and uh, just a less efficiency, it's going to cause issues. And anytime you have a hot compressor due to a blocked condenser, which is the case, in a heat pump. In the wintertime, if you don't change your filters, it's like having a blocked condenser. It's going to cause hotter and hotter running. It's going to cause more an amperage drawn for that compressor. It's just going to lead to it wearing out faster and faster. At a certain point, the heat is so high, it's really going to elevate the chances that your compressor dies a young, brutal death. Now, it can be the same thing with uh, low pressure blockages on the system. Like, let's say you have uh, your filters are dirty in the summertime and you have a lower than normal suction pressure. Well, if you lower that suction pressure enough, you have a greater chance of getting liquid back to the compressor. The compressor is not designed for pumping liquid, and eventually it'll wash out the bearings and destroy the compressor. So this video is brought to us by freetogrow.com. It is an AI service for your HVAC company, which is a pretty smart new service where they will actually take the load off your front office staff. If you have a company just... Maybe not a one-man company, but yes, maybe even the one-man company because they can handle taking in some of your calls because a lot of people, we don't have time to answer every single tiny call, especially the most mundane calls that can be perfect for an AI to answer because if you have AI taking 20 or 30% of your calls off because it's able to answer questions, then you save yourself a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of headache. 
So if you check out freetogrow.com, investigate that service. It might be good for your company, no matter what size it is, and definitely can help you sleep a little bit better at night, especially since it can answer the phones while you're sleeping at night. So that's freetogrow.com. If you don't have preventive maintenance done on your system, then that's going to cause a lot of issues. Not only the blocked filter we just talked about, where you're going to have above average head pressure and temperature, or below average suction pressure and suction temperature, it can also cause many different things. Like if you are losing refrigerant through a leak, say it's your Schrader valve, that's our go-to, right? The Schraders are leaking. Or the evaporator core of whatever leak. You need to spot that as early as possible because when refrigerant leaks, oil leaks. And refrigerant velocity goes down when the refrigerant leaks out of the system, which means the oil doesn't make it back to the compressor. And the compressor has to have oil. Just think of it like your car. If the motor runs out of oil, that motor is not going to last real long before it seizes because it needs that lubrication to continue working properly. Preventive maintenance does that. And although it's kind of a headache because if you have preventive maintenance and nothing's ever wrong, you say, well, I didn't need to have this, but it isn't true because it can find a lot of things prematurely. Your capacitors, which tend to blow in the middle of the summertime, you might be able to catch some of those early, and that's pretty common to be able to catch that when the capacitors are going bad. You can see relays that are burnt before they go bad where they're gonna stop the system from working. There's a lot of good things about preventive maintenance, which I never really appreciated because I kind of hated doing preventive maintenance. But from the customer point of view, it's definitely worthwhile. It's just some of the tasks in there were so, I don't know if they're mundane or too routine or what, but I just didn't enjoy it. But a customer, they need to get their system serviced. And uh, probably just not by me. Probably just don't hire me to do it would be the best choice that they could make, but they need to have it done. Guys and gals, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it shed a little bit of light. We're going to expand on this subject in the future. I just like to keep these videos short and sweet so you guys can listen to them on the go. And I'll be back real soon with another video. And uh, God bless each and every one of you and work safely. Save 8% off your order at truetechtools.com by using the Shop Talk discount code.